machines on the market, how do you know which one to choose? Well, I'm here at Simpson Engineering who have chose quite a large machine. Now, Chris, before we get into the machine, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and Simpson Engineering? Of course, yeah. So I'm Chris from Simpson Engineering. Uh, we're a subcontract CNC machine shop in Oxfordshire. Uh, we specialize in high mix work um, in three, four, now five axis as well, and turning. The range at DMG Murray have is quite vast and it must be quite daunting when you're trying to pick a machine. Yeah. So overall, why did you go for the 75 monobolt? Well, it did take a lot of uh, thinking. There's a lot of machines on offer, um, but for a subcontract machine shop, this just seemed like the right choice. Uh, you can do small work on a big machine, but you can't do big work on a small machine. And uh, this just has the rigidity and the torque and the power to do pretty much everything we, we need to do. So what has this machine given you? What can you do on this machine you couldn't do before? Uh, essentially, we can do most of our ordinary work in one operation. Uh, there's no need for three, four, five ops. Um, it increases the accuracy and reduces setups, reduces the cost to our customer. Now, we've got quite a few parts here, and I'm going to yeah. pick this one up because I think this showcases what you guys do here. Yeah. How much easier was this part to make on this machine than previously? Well, there's machine features in nearly every face on that. Um, so on a three axis, that would take quite a while. Uh, that was done on this machine in two ops. And there was a lot of tied up uh, holes and features on that, which were all hit first time. And obviously the surface finish looks amazing. It does. I'm guessing you've not had to do any polishing on that since the machine. No, no, it just comes off a machine like that. Um, that was in one operation, all deburred. Um, yeah, no extra ops, no extra costs. Deburring, talk, let's talk about deburring, because obviously yep. that is quite a time heavy process, but five axis deburring, have you been using that feature? We have indeed, yeah, it's excellent feature. Um, the time savings are brilliant. Um, the amount of uh, manual labor you have to do to deburr some of these complex parts is, it's a lot and uh, it reduces the costs. Um, a couple of minutes on the machine could save half an hour. Now we've talked about the work you can do on this machine and obviously, what was the learning curve like going from a three, four axis machine to a full simultaneous five axis machine? Well, for us, since we use Siemens uh, in the rest of the workshop, it was really simple. Um, it's exactly the same control, just with a couple of extras. Um, it took a couple of days training just to get the swivel planes and things. Um, but really, it's, it's not too hard and picks it up quickly. And it's not just the machine you've got there. You've got the PH150 cell attached to this machine. So you've not just took the step up to full five axis. You've got automation. Yep. So what's the automation part of this machine giving you here? Well, essentially, if you look at the hours uh, that a, a normal machine runs, say eight hours a day, uh, now we can get 24 hours a day out of the same machine. So it's like having three spindles instead of one. That must be quite nice to parts when you're roughing parts out as well. Because I'm guessing, do you rough parts out through the day and then finish them all on an evening when you've gone home? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we do the, uh, the roughing out in the day so we can manage the swarf and then the finishing runs overnight. Uh, usually runs for a while, so it's, it's perfect. Now, Chris, you mentioned earlier that you're doing a lot more parts in one hit compared yeah. to multiple setups. So what's that giving you in terms of completed parts? Well, it gives us this completed part that we're a lot more confident in. Uh, all the errors from your setups are reduced, seeing as there's just one setup. Um, and it means the part comes off finished. There's no more uh, costs associated with further ops and the inaccuracies that come with it. And one of my favorite things about a five axis machine is tabbing off parts. Yeah. I wish I'd have done it a lot more when I was on a machine, but now, how easy is it to tab off a part on this machine, being able to move the part to whatever angle you need? It's so easy, honestly. It, it sort of changed the game for how we make things. Um, previously, you get a drawing in, you look at it, and you think, oh, might be a bit difficult. But when you can just tab it off or window it in one go, easy. Now, I want to talk a little bit about tolerances because obviously you're doing low batch, high mix parts. Yeah which obviously is going to be constantly changing on sat hole sizes, tap sizes. Yeah. How do you guarantee that every part you make is going to be to spec? Because I know you said earlier that on other machines, you are constantly having to change to make sure the holes yeah. are right on every part. Yeah. Um, on the other machines, it's, yeah, 
you program the hole, you, you machine it, you comp it, next part, you've got to comp it some more. You've got to keep doing that. Um, on this, it's set and forget. I've uh, programmed one hole at the start of a batch and maybe uh, 400 holes later, it's still cutting the exact same size. H7 tolerances all day. So how do you think the machine is helping you keep them tolerances? Uh, it's got thermal compensation, so it can measure the temperature and there's also cooling involved um, that, that compensates for the, the expansion within the machine. So Chris, we touched on it a little bit at the start of the interview that DMG Mario have such a vast range of machines. So how did you come up with the final decision to buy the DMU 75? Well, we were looking at a 3 plus 2 originally, um, but we realized that uh, a machine like this is more affordable than we thought. Um, and with the full simultaneous 5-axis, it was a no-brainer, really. Now, we know DMG Mario have such a great support network who can call out and see you guys. But what happens if you just needed a little bit of additional support on the control? Uh, well, we have the machine networked, so uh, we can have someone from Germany log in even, um, and DMG can support us through the control itself. So then that must help get you back up and running faster than waiting for an engineer to come out with. Absolutely. Place. Yeah, they, they can uh, respond within probably an hour, I would say, and uh, support you as you need it. So Chris, one final question from me. Are you happy? Did you make the right decision? Absolutely, yeah, we're very happy. It's an excellent machine and we thank DMG very much.